All right, this is a perfect uh, topic before I go to class here. That's teetering, weird. All right, this is from Nemesis. He says, glad to see I'm back teaching. Thank you, I appreciate that. Glad you're back supporting the channel. Uh, man, I gotta be honest. I've kind of lost passion, kind of lost passion for my Wing Chun, not sure how to get it back. I'm going to tell you, this is the first time I've been teaching class in five years, and um, I really, in the last probably year or 18 months when I was teaching back in 20, like 17, I couldn't stand it. When I closed down my gym, I just, you know, any, anybody who trained with me back then will tell you, I wasn't, I wasn't teaching. I was just going through the motions. I was having Matt teach a lot, anybody else who was there. I just, I had zero passion for the art. A lot of it had to do with, I mean, I was... Um, I, I was going through stuff with my department at the time, a breakup at the time. Uh, I was thinking about running for sheriff out here, which I ultimately did. There's a lot of external stuff I did, but I lost passion for the art for a couple of different reasons. Number one, you have to get the energy back from the people that you're training and teaching with. And um, unfortunately, there's not a lot of people who enjoy enjoy the, uh, the hard work that's put into Kung Fu. And what does Kung Fu mean? Kung Fu means hard work. You know, so you're, you're, you're teaching people, if you're like me, I was teaching people who just weren't doing the fucking work. And then what happens is, is, you know, I'm like, hey, practice your center line punch like crazy. And they would come in classic. I'm like, are you not practicing? And then if you know martial arts, and especially Wing Chun, you get the way that I was teaching, like everybody else foundationally was, you know, seal them down first and everything else. And then you can't maintain students who are gonna be doing this for three weeks and satisfied and not being bored, right? And then leave and go, I wanna to go to a BJJ class or I wanna to go to a boxing class or kickboxing class or a JKD class. Not a lot of people are willing to put in the foundational work for Wing Chun. And we have to adapt that as teachers, right? Not adapt the art, but because the art, art always adapts, but adapt uh, your teaching styles, if you will. The number one thing that I got really bent out of shape for, and honestly, I don't care anymore about, is the Wing Chun community. I mean, I started this, uh, the channel, you know, uh, 10 years ago, 2012, right around there. You, know, you could see the, the Matt and I did a first video of a knife defense and then my obviously the why I hate Bruce Lee video, um, all that kind of stuff. And then over the years, it you can't, you can't give a shit what other people think. And it's not that I gave a shit what other people think. It's just that I got tired. I, I got tired of the Wing Chun community, and the Wing Chun community still exists today. The video I put up with Christina and I, uh, her first, very first Wing Chun lesson of the day, my right? very first Wing Chun, zero martial arts whatsoever, and we did some, just some rolling drills, and thanks to Wing Chun, um, I want to get this right on Instagram, let me, let me, let me promote this properly, um, Wing Chun, Wing underscore, Chun underscore, women here, wing underscore, chun underscore, women, um, they reposted parts of the video. And a commenter puts up, shaking my head, everybody wants to be a Sifu. And I'm like, dude, I was the first American, the first American to be published, not once, but twice in back-to-back -back issues of Wing Chun Illustrated. I think people recognize me, they know me, They've, they've, they've touched hands with me, all this shit. And I start, as I'm typing this comment, I'm like, why am I fucking proving myself? I don't have to. I don't care anymore. Some of the commenters out there, dude, you gained weight. Muscle doesn't work in Wing Chun. You got overweight. You know, you got a big stomach. You got this and that. It's like, you're slow. You're Wing Chun. It's like, holy shit. When did we become such a community of little girls? Because that's exactly what we are. The Wing Chun community is all about Who's got the last word? Oh, well, my see for this. Bruce Lee's legacy, all this. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I'm 47 years old. And more than most people out there, I've applied my Wing Chun in the, in the nightclub industry, as a police officer, uh, in daily life. I, I, I don't have anything to prove. I don't. I, I, so uh, that was the one of the biggest things for me was the community is the shittiest community on the planet. There is no Wing Chun Brotherhood. People don't care about each other and people always want to have the egos of who's the top dog in Alpha. And I don't give a fuck. You're more than welcome to touch hands with me. I get punched in the face. You've seen it. I leave the content up where I get punched in the face. That's just how life is. So for me, it was five years. And I'm not gonna lie, to be honest, I was watching Cobra Kai, right, the last season. And uh, I'm watching Terry Silver come back and I'm, I, dude, I'm sorry, but the Cobra Kai methodology of teaching that's how I want to teach. It's got to be aggressive. It's got to have a point. It's martial arts. It's combat. It's fighting. I'm like, fuck, I want to start teaching again. So it took a ridiculous, um, 
it took a ridiculous, uh, what do you call it, uh, Netflix series to get my interest back in the art. Um, um, how you get your interest back, you got to find out what you loved in the first place. What I loved in the first place about Wing Chun was fighting. I loved it. Uh, I'm not going to fight again. Again, like I said, I'm 47. You won't see sparring on the channel. Uh, I, you're going to see me, right? You're going to see a guy who's five foot seven. I'm considerably overweight. I'm strong as fuck. Um, probably a little bit slower because I haven't done shit in years. But I'll drop anybody because it's just my mentality and it's how it goes. So how do how do all of us apply Wing Chun for each other? And the biggest thing I'm going to tell you, if you come to the channel, you start watching this stuff again. I just, I don't know how to tell you this. If you're new in Wing Chun or if you're still caught on this, this is wrong or this isn't a folk style or this, that stuff. I don't understand. And this is the one analogy I've used all my time in Wing Chun, like center line, right? You've, you've got elbows got to be on center and your wrist has got to be on center. Does that mean that fat people can't do Wing Chun? They're not allowed to do Wing Chun. Women with big chests are not allowed to do Wing Chun. People with frozen shoulders that can't move, they're not allowed to do Wing Chun. Some of you are really stupid when you say that Wing Chun is X, Y, and Z. Wing Chun is Wing Chun, and it's the greatest martial art in the world. So that's that. Uh, Nemesis, get your passion back. Um, hopefully watching the channel and watching what the new students are going through and how everything is uh, will put you in a place where you uh, learn to enjoy it again and learn to fall in love with it again. But appreciate that. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm on my way to teach class.